So, uh, hello everyone. Today we are going to make a simple um, blockchain um, in Python. Uh, the code will be just 50 lines long, but there will be no proof of work, proof of stake, or anything like that. So, it basically means that uh, it will simply um, it will simply demonstrate how uh, the blockchain works and how the the core mechanics work. But the uh, right now you could uh, make an infinite amount of blocks, which is obviously not what we want. Uh, so you need to add something uh, to legitimize who can add blocks, etc. And that we won't do in this uh, example, but it will teach you how uh, the basic mechanics of a blockchain work. So first we're going to need some imports. Here I have them pasted. So we have like hashlib to create uh, hashes, uh, daytime to, uh, yeah, we're going to add a timestamp in our block and then random to create some random data. Um, we're going to use uh, an object oriented, uh, we're going to program this in an object oriented manner. I'm not sure if you're familiarized with it, but it's very easy. So if you, for example, so we're just going to create a class called um, cat block because I want to create a uh, get blockchain um, and f for example if you take like the class of a car you could have like the amount of wheels the car has uh, the color the class uh, the, the car has the amount of seats it has uh, the amount of power horsepower the um, the engine has etc etc so um, yeah it, it it just an a description for how an object of that class would look like. So in this uh, scenario, we are going to create a description of how a cat block might look like. Um, but obviously, we are building a um, we're building a blockchain. So every block has some characteristics. So most of the time, there will be like an index. So that will indicate the how uh, many blocks are already so for example index one means it's the, the second block of the blockchain and extend it's the ninth etc uh, time so I would like to have a timestamp to see when the block is added then the data I choose for example I'm going to create a cat block so I will just create a data part where it says how much food there is still available for a cat and then uh, we are obviously going to need the hash of the previous block and this is key to uh, the whole mechanics because this previous uh, hash will um, uh, uh, is needed to create the, the, the chain but it will be um, much clearer later on when we uh, continue so first what we will do is we will uh, use all these so the inits in a um, in a class will just be the the constructor so if you create the, a new a new cat block so a new object of the cat block then you just uh, have to give the index time for the amount previous cat block hash and that will this function in it will be called upon creation um, so first we are just going to uh, assign the in so the uh, index of the block to the index that is given it's the same for time for foot mount and for the previous hash and then very important we are going to create a new hash so like for example the current hash but will be more like the hash of this item um, we're just going to create a function that will uh, uh, we will call just hash so uh, self dot hash and that's a function inside our object so uh, hash and what this will do is it needs a parameter self uh, what this will do is it will uh, generate a hash based upon the uh, data that is in this block so so the current hash so the hash of the object will be based upon uh, the index of this uh, block the time of this block the food mine block and the previous hash and this is key because the fact that it is based on the previous hash means that it is uh, strangled with it so you uh, it is it is chained it is chained with it so it means that 
you cannot recreate this because it's based upon the previous hash and that previous hash is also based upon the previous hash so if you want to replace a blockchain you need to replace it in a world which is difficult to do and that is why it's so secure um, so and what does the hash function look like well it is I mean it just it just uses the hash uh, library so it's, it's not difficult but um, it's probably new if you have never hashed before so you just go yeah the, the, the hash function name is SHA-256 um, it's, it's commonly used it's just uh, yeah it's a very secure way of hashing something and as you can see here SHA update it will add the index the time the foot mount and the previous hash very important and that will be uh, it needs to be encoded to the right format uh, into the right yeah, character format and then we can use uh, uh, this function to generate a hash and this hash will be stored as the current hash or the hash of the new block so actually this is everything we need for the class cat block so this um, it's very easy and we're going to call this like the class of cat block yeah object actually so I mean the class just defines how an object would look like um, okay then every blockchain need a way to create a first block most of the time it is called the genesis block so I'm gonna call it get genesis block so what this function will do it will just create the first block um, the first block um, obviously has no previous hash so what it means so get block so we call our class to create an object we set the index at zero the daytime as daytime right now the foot amount um, we don't have a foot amount for the first block we're just going to call it genesis block so it will be clear if we look at our blockchain and then the previous cat block hash you can you can create something randomized at zero but you can set anything you want there and that will be returned so this basically is a method that just um, generate uh, generate first uh, block of our blockchain so um, this is in fact enough to create our first uh, block of our blockchain so we are just going to define a variable called blockchain blockchain is an array so uh, actually a blockchain is just an array of blocks but the key is that those blocks are independently um, they are all strangled in its other with 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 the hashes so the, the the previous hash and the current hash is uh, based upon each other so you cannot separate them um, obviously it uh, will be um, initialized with a cat genesis block so here we can see that we call genesis block and it returns a cat block with a uh, first block so our blockchain is uh, initialized um, I will also create a method to visualize our blockchain um, why do I do that it does, it's not necessary but it's it's nice for us to to be able to see what we are doing so uh, this method will be will be pretty um, simple but it is yeah it uses some 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 weird tricks to create like a beautiful Implementation. So what do we do? We iterate through the blockchain. So for every block we're going to paint, obviously in the beginning it's going to be one, but if we add more, there will be more in the blockchain. Uh, then uh, we create a, a array of text. So first block plus the index. So blockchain i dot index. So the so blockchain has elements of get blocks. So a blockchain is a uh, array of blocks and every block has an index a food amount of time and obviously hashes but we won't display them because they are boring so uh, block and then the index and then the food amount and then the time those are the three things we will display uh, then we're just going to define something for uh, the max length and call width that's because there will be painted a, a border uh, around uh, the block 
um, it will just be painted. So for s in text, it's just for every string, for every string here inside this array. So this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. Um, but it's it's not it's not you don't have to think about it because it has nothing to do with the blockchain, just to visualize it. So we're going to call this method directly, so we can see if our Genesis block is has been added. So blockchain. So we need to uh, give uh, a method blockchain. I'm just going to create some documentation. So visualize the cat blockchain. Okay, that's it. And then we can uh, go ahead and run our catcoin.py. So I use Python 3, but you can use anything you want. Catcoin.py. And here you can see. Uh, so block zero, Genesis block, and it's created at uh, the 29th of May at 10.35, that is correct. Nice, nice. Okay, so that is the first block, but how do we add another block? Um, so to create a next block, we're going to obviously make a new method. So create next block, we'll just call it um, what does it need? It needs the previous block. So last block, yeah, it's good. Um, so it will it will um, need the previous block uh, to uh, know, for example, what its new index was, what its new what it new um, hash would be, etc., etc. So. Here you can see the index will be the index of the last block plus one because it's a new block. The date time will be obviously right now, or the time will be right now. And then get has, and then I'm going to use a string rand random int between one and 500 grams of food left. So, but in fact, this can be uh, you can you can determine this. So in a normal blockchain, you will you will use actual real information that no one can tamper with. Um, here you can tamper with the random amount of food, but it's, it's obviously just for uh, example. Uh, we use a stupid thing as this. I mean, it's not stupid. Get need food, um, and then as hash, we're going to use uh, the current hash of the last block, and that hash, as you remember here, is the previous get block hash. So, and that previous get block hash will be used to generate the new hash. I hope it, it starts to make some sense. Right now you see it. And then, so a new cat block is created. So uh, the new index, the new time, the new food amount, and the, uh, uh, the, the previous hash. It's actually better if we, if we call this previous hash. That will be like, that will make more sense, I guess. Okay, um, I'm going to write some documentation. So, create new uh, cat block, and then we are going to uh, add it. So, um, blockchain dot append, uh, and then create next block and then we are going to need to give the previous block and that will be blockchain uh, and then we need to access the, the, the last item and I know it's gonna sound strange but in Python if you use minus one as index of an array you will get the last obviously in the beginning the last is just the first well doesn't really matter okay um, let's uh, oh, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, let's try this out. And here you can see we have block zero, the Genesis block. And right after we have block one, get has 62 grams left and it's created and that date. Um, let's do that, for example, like five times. Okay, so right now we add five times a new block and we visualize them at the end. Let's 
try to do this. As you can see, it works like a charm. So we have the first Genesis block, a new 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 block. Um, you can't really see it here, but because the hash of the previous, um, because the, the hash is, uh, so because the, the hash of an object is created with the previous hash, there is a way to verify if, for example, block four is actually block four. And the way to verify this is just to go to look at block three and check if, um, if, if you use these data and this hash, and you add it, and you, you, you use the hash function if you will get the same hash. And if that's not the case, that will mean that that hash is corrupted. That that block is corrupted and that it's not made based upon this block. Okay, um, that was it, I guess. I hope it was a little bit clear. And if you want to make me see more videos, please uh, let me know, like, share, subscribe, or comment. I don't really care. Bye.